All right, what's going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So as I mentioned in my previous video, we're gonna go over the three new Dokkan Awakenings on JP for the Int Kid Goten, the uh, Tech Kid Trunks, as well as the AGL Fit Boo. Three units that have needed Dokkan Awakenings for a very long time and you know, I always say, like, the longer they make us wait for a Dokkan Awakening, the better the Dokkan Awakening is. So it's not necessarily a bad thing that we have to wait for these Awakenings, because these three units are absolutely... I mean, one of them is absolutely ridiculous, two of them are really, really, really solid. And, uh, of course, we're gonna go over to the Reddit now and take a look at these... Uh, transfer or not transformation. Um, I'm thinking about the previous video now and look at the token awakening information for all three of them Of course a huge huge shout out to Goresh on the Dokkan subreddit for these um, Translations we appreciate it once again huge shout out to Goresh and why don't we start with the guy that is setting the uh, Dokkan community on fire right now because he is basically like Bergamo, but like better I mean at least for shorter events because he gets the ridiculous, ridiculous boost right off the bat, essentially, as opposed to Bergamo, who has to build up his attack and defense over time, and it takes quite a few turns to actually get his maximum boost, right? So anyways, I should actually talk about the details first before we go into discussion. I don't know if you guys can tell, I'm super sleep deprived right now, so I apologize if I'm kind of weird. I said this in the previous video too, but I'm still weird in this video because I'm literally recording it like 10 minutes after, right? So anyways, let's start with the boo here. Um, thrilling battle, shape up boo, leader skill, AGL types, key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 90%, super attack, meteor shower assault, supreme damage with a medium chance to stun the enemy. His passive is attack and defense plus 150%. So already you're like, that's really high. That's really good, right? But he gets an additional key plus three and attack and defense plus 150% with a high chance to evade enemy attacks for seven turns from first appearance. So we're talking about 300% attack and defense and key plus three with a high chance to evade all attacks for seven turns. And then after that, he only gets 100, 150% attack and defense, which of course, like I said, is not that bad, but he's gonna be absolutely busted, man, for the first seven turns of his appearance. And um, yeah, I don't know. Like, I don't know what they're thinking. I don't know why they're giving such insane boost to these like side characters that people don't really care that much about. I mean, it's Boo, so of course he is still a major character, but Fit Boo was literally in the anime for like two episodes and then he disappeared, right? So, I mean, Bergamo was weird. This is also kind of weird, the fact that they just made these random units so, so insane. Um, so yeah, 300% attack and defense. Um, of course, he's not gonna be good for longer events. Legendary Goku event, he's gonna be bad. Um, Super Battle Road, he actually might last seven turns for most of the stages, so he might be good there. Um, but like, Infant Dragon Ball History. But like, for any Dokkan event, he should be able to keep like this um, this boost, like 300% attack and defense for most of the fight, if not the entire fight. And uh, it's insane. It's insane. Like Fit Boo is, <laughs> I don't, I, I'm not going to say he's the best unit in the game. Obviously, it's an overreaction, but he's one of the better TURs in the game now. Like he's got to be up there in the top, like, I don't know, 20 TURs in the game or something, because that is just ridiculous. It really is. Okay, links are the same as before. I'm not going to go over them because uh, they don't change from the Dokkan Awakening. Actually, no, never mind. They, they do change. My bad. Uh, I'm thinking about EZA, like from, from you know, TUR to EZA. They don't change, but of course, it will change with the Dokkan Awakening for the most part, right? So his new links are the Innocents, Revival, Brainiacs, Majin, Infinite Regeneration, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Universe Survival Saga, Resurrected Warriors, Rep Representatives of Universe 7, Transformation Boost, Artificial Life Forms, Worthy Rivals, and Majin Power. Okay, so next up we have the 
Int Kid Trunks, sorry, Tech Kid Trunks, and his new leader skill is Kamehameha category, key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 100%. So obviously only 100%, but still like basically the best category in the game um, or like top three category in the game. Um, and also Tech and Fizz types, key plus three, HP, attack and defense plus 70%. Super attack is triple Kamehameha, causes supreme damage and raises allies attack by 30% for one turn. And his passive is attack plus 120 percent reduces damage received by 40 percent and, and if it just stopped there i'd be like that's pretty good that's pretty good but he also gets an additional attack plus 70 percent and reduces damage received by an additional 30 percent when performing a super attack if there's an ally attacking the same turn whose name includes go 10 kid or krillin excluding youth so if you're attacking with a go 10 on the team or on the same rotation you're looking at your what, what is that 190 percent attack and 70 percent damage reduction so if you're running the kid go 10 and this kid trunks together they're basically untouchable and they're going to be doing some really really good damage too like really solid damage um I mean, once we get to the Kid Goats and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But Lynx, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Budding Warrior, Innocent, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Categories are Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga, Movie Heroes, Vegeta's Family, Youth, Super Saiyans, and Kamehameha. Okay, so Kid Goten here, uh, Kamehameha category, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 100%, and Int and Fizz types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%, Super Attack, triple Kamehameha, causes supreme damage and raises attack by 30% for one turn, and 120% attack and reduces damage received by 40%, gains an additional attack plus 70%, and reduces damage received by 30% when performing a super attack. If there is an ally attacking the same turn, whose name includes Trunks, Kid, or Krillin, excluding youth so basically they're, they're the same unit with the exception of the fact that you know the go 10 requires the kid trunks and the trunks requires the go 10 so like i said if you're running the two of these units on the same rotation they're going to be hitting really hard and they're going to be taking like no damage L literally like 70 percent damage reduction is huge that's huge so <laughs> That's going to be a crazy rotation, man. Um, I can't wait to test it out, potentially. I can't wait for it to come to global, obviously, because both these kids are rainbowed for me. So that's going to be some really fun runs on the Legendary Goku event, where Goku's not going to be able to touch them at all. So that's crazy. That's crazy. They become really crazy when run together. Uh, Lynx, Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, Budding Warrior, Innocence, Prepare for Battle, Fierce Battle, Categories, um, Majin Buu Saga, Hybrid Saiyans, Movie, movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Youth, Super Saiyan, Siblings Bond, and Kamehameha. And uh, we have the information here for the Good Boo, Evil Boo, and also the Transforming Go Tanks too, but I covered that in a previous video, so go check it out if you guys haven't seen it yet. The reason I split it up into to two videos is because it would have just been too long to cover everything in one video. So there you go, guys. This is um, the information for the AGL Boo for the Int Kit Goten, for the Tech Trunks, all three of them really, really, really good, but especially this um, Shape Up Boo, this Fit Boo, like, it's <laughs> it's ridiculous, man. 150% plus 150%, 300% attack and defense. And um, I'm not really, you know, discounting these kids too, because as I said, if you run them together, they're untouchable, man. They're untouchable, which is wild just just madness madness okay so that is the video i'm gonna end it off here before um i pass out because like i said i'm super sleep deprived i'm i don't know that's probably why i'm talking so fast like my brain is just running at like a 150 miles per hour but uh why did i say 150 oh because he gets 150 percent anyways uh that is the video guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and uh let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about all of these token awakenings the details for the boo the trunks the goten which one do you think is the best i think i know the answer and uh are you guys excited for it man i really wish they were coming to global right now because these guys will be so fun to showcase man um but soon but soon four to six months as is the standard for um what do you call it for for you know jp to global right so it is what it is but that is the video thank you guys so much for watching and as always if you guys like the video make sure to like the damn video and if it's your first time watching me 
first time to the channel and you like what you see and you like what you see then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and uh, once again if you guys haven't seen the details my previous video uh going over the super attacks and all the other details for the transforming go tanks and the transforming boo make sure to go watch that video after this one and uh that's it guys that's all i gotta say thank you so much for watching um have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out